All right. Um, we're going to talk about um, one more thing that was start talking about with sampling procedures. And this is a simple random sample. And there are three main steps in order to properly do a simple random sample. And you want to write these down and make sure that you follow these pretty well. And what we have right here is you want to start off by labeling the individuals. Um, when you label individuals, you always want to make sure that you assign numbers. So whenever you're writing out your uh, procedures and how to do a simple random sample or a SRS, make sure that you assign numbers to all of the participants in the population. Next, uh, when you assign numbers, um, you could also, if you don't want to do this route by assigning numbers, you could also write their names on slips of paper um, and do it that way, depending on how many people you have, whatever one is most convenient. Normally, I assign numbers. Next thing is that you want to use some way to randomize it. Okay, so you label them and then you need to randomize it. So when we're randoming it, we're going to be picking like usually a random number generator, an RNG. Um, usually there's no repeats. Okay, no repeats um, when we're doing that. Other times we're taking names out of a hat. Make sure that we shuffle them. All right, so two different ways of doing this. We can also, we're going to talk about using table D. Table D. I'm going to do that. Next thing is that we need to state that we're going to select, all right, how we're going to select them um, and what is the procedure for that. And so label, randomize, select. Label, randomize, select. Those are some key principles whenever we're doing some simple random samples. And this kind of flows into also um, when we assign things into experiments. But this is just for sampling. So let's just take a quick little example. And this is actually using table D. This is not always that common. But the manager the management company of a local a mall plans to survey a random sample of three stores to determine the hours they would like to stay open during the holiday season. So we're going to use table D and SRS to find three stores. Okay, and in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're first going to label all these values. And what we're going to label these values is we have one, all right, one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So the first thing we're going to do right here is we're going to label. And I'm going to actually say a two digit number because we are using a table here, okay? Um, uh, label each store, each store using a two digit number from zero one to twenty one. Okay, next thing we're going to use um, table D starting at uh, line 101 and select uh, a two digit numbers numbers no repeats until, all right, three stores, stores, so two, no repeats. Um, and oh, I probably should say this and skip and skip numbers not between. 0, 1 to 21. Okay. And we want to select three stores. Okay. So here we go. So you label each store using a two digit number from 0, 1 to 21. And that's what we did. We're going to use table D starting out line 103 and select the two digit number, no repeats, and skip numbers not between it. Okay. Um, Select numbers, maybe I should add this, select numbers 
All right, left to right. Okay, so let's try that. I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to change my line right here. So here is, I have this two-digit table. We're going to start at line 101, line 101, and we're going to start selecting two-digit numbers. So we're going to have 19, all right? Now, is 19 between um, 0, 1, and 21? It is. So that is our first store. Then we go over to 22, all right? 22. 22 is not in there, so we cross it out. So we're going to place, and then we're going to skip numbers not between 0 and 1, all right? So now we go to next one. Next one we have is 39. 39 is not between those, so we skip that one. 50 is not between that. 34, we skip that one as well. 0, 5 is our second store. All right, 75, we skip that one. 62 is not between those, skip that one. 87, and then skip that one, and then 13. 1, 2, and 13, or sorry, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 19, 5, and 13 are them. So we go up here. We have 1. We also had 5. Cars for kids. And we also had 13. All right, 13 is Mrs. Field. And those are the three stores that we selected. Okay. And that's how you can use, all right, um, how you perform a simple random sample. Make sure that you label the individuals, assign numbers, write them in specific paper. In this case, we assign numbers. Be specific on the numbers you're going to assign. With two digit tables, depending on the number of values, you either want to do a two, a single digit, two digit, or three digit number. Um, if you're just doing a simple random number generator, you can just do one, two, 21, if that were the case. Always mention that you don't want to have any repeats. Sometimes you will, but most cases are not. Um, as you said right here, you do want to state you want to skip over numbers um, that are not between these values. And especially when you do a random number digit table left to right, that's kind of the most complex. Um, next thing is you want to state how you're selecting and which numbers you are selecting from there. All right, so label, randomize, select. Label, randomize, select. Make sure you remember that. And I hope this helps you out in doing your simple random samples and setting that up. All right, good luck and God bless and the rest of your problems.